Hello everyone! So today's video is going to be my five months on tea update. I'm currently filming in the bedroom because my art studio where I usually film is like really messy so we're in here today. I hope that's okay. I know it's like quite different to the usual aesthetic that we go for in these videos. There's a lot of ponies in here, there's a lot of toys and pink and colourful stuff. It's been a while since I filmed in here. I think it's been like I want to say a couple years at least and things have changed quite a lot in here since then so totally understand if it takes a bit of readjusting to get used to it. Welcome to the toy room. <laughs> so today I'm going to be doing my five months on tea update. I could be imagining this but it seems like there hasn't really been like as much noticeable changes this month compared to last month and like all the other updates. I don't know why that is, it could just be that like I'm getting more used to it or something or I don't know I just feel like there's less to update you on. That aside we will jump into it and you can let me know what you think. <laughs> oh, also I just have to apologize for the funky lighting I know it isn't great in here um, especially like down here because it's kind of the afternoon and the lights kind of moving across so you're gonna get a bit of weird stuff going on so Sorry about that. Anyway, so first I'm going to talk about body hair. We're going to start with a moustache update again. So I guess it's gotten darker. I feel like it's not as noticeable as last time, but um, that could just be that like I'm getting used to seeing it that way. But I'll get up close again and show you. I'm just trying to figure out how I can do that with my current setup. I'm going to try. Okay, this isn't too bad. I mean, I'm guessing that it's gotten like darker and thicker again but I actually can't really tell so let me know if you think that you can see any changes there because uh I don't know it just seems more subtle this month I will say like the kind of sideburns area I'm gonna like get up close and see if you can see it yet from here I think you can like over here this is like well it's new since being on tea but it's been growing there for a while but I definitely think again that it's like darker and kind of fluffier like it's not as neat and uniform as when it was first starting to grow. Like it's getting kind of more scruffy, I guess. I use that term lightly because it's still pretty subtle. I did notice like I'm starting to be able to see this part in photos and stuff. I'm really looking forward to the day where I can have a beard and wear a dress. Like that's kind of the end goal to be honest like ultimate pretty boy goals. So I'm pretty happy about this and uh yeah I do like when I'm kind of clipping my hair I do like this part now as well and it grows back pretty quickly. I do think my chin hair is becoming more prominent as well and that's getting like a little bit more scruffy and stuff too. Yeah I'll come up close and show you again. It's actually like way easier with this setup. I can just like come over and show you so I might do this more often. Actually I'll show you this a little closer again just in case you didn't see it as well before. It's like most noticeable here and like here I think. Very floofy. And my chin hair, I don't know if you can see that just yet, but we'll try. I don't know, I don't know if you can see any of that, but um, I can definitely see it in person and in the mirror, so yeah, that's cool. Also like, again, I feel like I'm just kind of saying the same things every update, but whatever. <laughs> like the, the hair on my neck is definitely more fluffy as well. Like I can definitely feel it now. That is a difference that I've noticed is that like, when I touch my, what is this, my neck, my chin, if I just like do this or this, like I can really feel the hairs there now. I kind of like just touching them when I'm like doing stuff, like just kind of fiddling with the little hairs, it's kind of cool. My snail trail I think has gotten like wider, like there's, it's kind of spread out more compared to last month. And I feel like my tummy in general is starting to get a little bit more hairy, which is pretty great. My arm hair is a little bit darker and fluffier again. Let's see, Ooh, you can kind of see it pretty well. Yeah, I don't know. I just think it's like denser or thicker or something and like a little bit darker. And same with like my hand. I don't know if you can see it too well with this weird lighting. But here again it's like gotten a little darker and like there's just a few like stray hairs that are starting to darken like here on my hands as well. I think my eyebrows are like trying to get thicker because I'm getting like a lot more stray eyebrow hairs like 
around the place which I already was getting like pre-tea but it seems to have really increased and gone a lot more I don't know there's just like more of it I don't think I want thicker eyebrows at this point so I have been plucking the stray hairs when they come in so the other thing to do with hair that I want to talk about is less <laughs> exciting and more troubling so I think that some of the hair on my head is starting to thin out and I'm not I'm not <laughs> feeling good about it. I'm not ready for this. I'm gonna try and show you, but you can't really tell as well when my hair is like curly. You can really only see it when it's like straight or wet. But I'm gonna try and show you anyway. So it's like, it's less here. Now, like maybe a little bit here, which I'm not very concerned about. Like I was really prepared for that to happen like in these spots, but I swear it's happening here, which is what's really bothering me. So. I think that my hairline has like already gone back a little bit and that it's still like receding. I've got a chicken pox scar around here and I never used to be able to like see it very well or touch it because there was hair growing there. Yeah but lately I've been able to see it really clearly and like touch it which I've never been able to do before so that kind of tells me that like I have lost some hair. I also think like from here to like at least here it seems that my hair is more thin like I can really see my scalp a lot more and I can see like every strand of hair kind of thing. It's like kind of hard to explain. I knew that this would come up at some point because like the hair loss genes in my family are really strong like my dad has no hair his dad has no hair and that happens to them like really early like I think by the time my dad was my age he'd lost most of his hair so it's not surprising but I didn't think it would be happening this soon I'm okay with it receding a little bit but there's only so much of that that I will tolerate I'm gonna talk to my endo about it I think I'm seeing her in about a week or something so I'll bring it up so I guess like worst case scenario would be if it keeps happening um, maybe I'll like go off tea for a minute just while I get it sorted out and then go back on again. Hopefully that doesn't happen. I really don't want to go off tea at any any point right now. But I also really don't want to lose too much hair, so... I don't know. I'll let you know in future updates what happens with that. And hopefully like I'm just freaking out about nothing because I know that like when you go on tea your hairline does eventually change but it doesn't mean that like you're going bald just yet. It just means that it's changed, so... Hopefully it's just that my hairline's changing and it's not that it's actually receding. I don't know, we'll see what happens. And this lighting is like so annoying, oh my god. I'm really sorry about that. Um, I need to film it at like a different time of day. So as for my skin, it had gotten really oily for a while there, like especially my face. It was oily like here and here and here and here, just kind of everywhere. I couldn't touch my face because I'd get really oily hands from doing it. Like it get on my hands and it'd be really gross and I couldn't get it off and it was like a horrible sensory experience I really didn't enjoy that and I was like looking into all this stuff that you can do to like ease the oiliness like witch hazel and stuff and then it went away on its own so that's good but I'm still gonna try out some things in case it comes back so I really don't think that's the last of the oiliness unfortunately I wish it was I was prepared for it but it still it sucks when it's going on so as for like spots and acne it's kind of the same as before when I do get them on my face which I am a little at the moment but not too bad I mainly get them like on my jawline and my chin see if I can get up close and show you so it's I've currently got some here um, if you can see and I'm getting them a lot on my neck as well actually like I had like a little cluster of them around here somewhere but I think they're gone but yeah it's like I don't know it's not it's not great but could be a lot worse anyway my body temperature definitely is still going up it's really annoying I'm finding that I am getting hot a lot more often and a lot more easily. I don't know, I can never tell like what temperature I'm meant to be feeling. It's like really confusing. So now I'm going to talk about my voice and I don't really have much to say on it because I don't think that it's changed at all since last month. Someone suggested that I try getting a voice pitch app which can like help figure out whether your voice is going you know up or down or staying the same and all of that I haven't gotten one yet but I will I definitely will I've been meaning to I don't know why I haven't done it yet but I think that will help if I do so 
yeah, maybe that'll give me some hope. <laughs> Still, you know, going a little gravelly here and there, but nothing really out of the ordinary so far. It is kind of funny though when like, <laughs> when I'm mid-conversation with someone and my voice just starts going a bit gravelly out of nowhere and we both just kind of pretend it's not happening and it's just totally normal and fine, which it is, but you know, it's it's kind of weird. <laughs> it feels weird when um, your voice suddenly changes a bit like mid-sentence, but I'm sure I've got more of that to look forward to. Oh gosh, my nose is tickly. Stop. Mmm. Oh yeah, that reminds me. I haven't had any more tea colds since last month, so, which is good. I feel like they've been threatening to come, though. <laughs> like, I really get a lot of nose tickles lately and I keep thinking, oh no, it's going to turn into a tea cold, but then it doesn't. So, that's good, I guess. I will say, though, that I have been starting to have more throat tickles again, because that went away for a while, and I feel like those are coming back so hopefully that indicates something good I don't know and then as for sleep um that has improved a lot I feel like it's moving back to like how it was when I first started tea how I went to sleep I slept really deeply and stayed asleep and I woke up at a good time that's happening again which is really good so I'm pretty happy about that I think like it being autumn here now is really helpful because it's really hard to get any sleep when it's hot so that's definitely helped. Yeah, but it just, I don't know, it just feels a lot more like it did when I first started tea, which is really nice. Uh, also, I'm still snoring a lot. I remember last month I wasn't sure if it was still happening, but it definitely is. It's just that I've gotten used to it. It's not like it's super loud or anything, so I don't really mind. Just a few little, like, tidbits to update you on that don't fit in any category. First is that my hunger has definitely gone up. It's, like, a lot more intense. Again, it's like, especially in the mornings, I get so, so hangry. And it's really annoying because there's like a few things that I have to do in the morning when I get up before I can like sit down to eat something. And the, the time that it takes to do those things when I just really want to eat, it's like excruciating. <laughs> That's probably being a little dramatic, but like, man, I am real, real hungry in the mornings. And it's like the first thing I notice when I wake up, like, is how hungry I am, so. Yeah, that's kind of interesting, I guess. Also, I think that my muscle mass has probably increased, like, a little bit. I'm really noticing it in my arms, but, uh, I don't want to show you because, like, it's still pretty measly. <laughs> I don't want to embarrass myself. I definitely think I've got a little bit more muscle in my arms and stuff. So that's kind of cool, especially because, like, I haven't been doing, like, any working out or weight training or anything. I just, like go for walks or bike rides occasionally. I guess like I carry heavy shopping home. I don't know if that counts. I don't think it does, but that's really the extent of it. So it's kind of cool that it's happening a little bit anyway. Go along with that um, in terms of growing pains. I've been getting them a little bit still, but not as bad as I had when they first started, which is good. And I'm not getting them as often either. I'm also just gonna really briefly talk about my cycle. I'm not going to go very in depth because I don't want to be TMI about it on the internet, but uh, I do think that it is on its way out. I will say that. I thought that it had completely gone, um, but it just turned out that it was a week late, but it was not the full experience that I was expecting, let's just say. Having said that, it still sucked because it was late and I thought it was gone completely, so when like it did come, I was like, this really fucking sucks, and the dysphoria <laughs> was like through the roof. I don't know what else to say, dysphoria has been kind of really bad lately, but it can only get better from here, right? So, yeah. Anyway, so that is my update for five months on teas. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in a non-tea related video soon. I, I swear it's going to happen. I don't know when, but it is. I'm going to make it happen. Yeah, so thanks again, and I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. It's not working. <laughs> Why is the lighting so bad? <sighs> no, it's not. Okay, that did nothing. That did nothing. Okay, well, I tried. Okay, I tried. <gasps> I think I fixed it. Oh my god, I fixed it. Okay, good.